Hey everybody, Joe coming to you again from Mexico and I'm gonna take some shots at the beach, but I wanna do something a little bit interesting. Yes, I've got a polarizer, but I've also got 16 stops worth of ND filters with me to see if I can do a long exposure out in the bright sun. I'm using the new Nissi 75 millimeter lens, uh, lens and filter system. Now the beauty of this is if you're using a smaller camera system, it is smaller, that's the beauty of it. So I'm gonna first put on the polarizer, which I have in my pocket here. And it comes with a set of adapter rings. You just put the appropriate ring on your camera for your lens. And I'll just screw that on. And that's it. That's as, as easy as it, that is to put on. Now, this will also hold on to the square filter holder. Now, I can see my filter is a little bit foggy because I went from the cold to the hot. So I'm going to need to make sure I have a little time for it to get rid of its fog. But while that's happening, let me show you how this thing works. This is the holder. In fact, let's come in real close. I wanna show you something here. So to mount this, all I do is I'm gonna pull out on this one to open up the release, make sure that the tightening screw is loosened, and just put it over top of the polarizer holder, pull this out, and you can see it falls into place. Now this will freely rotate. If I wanna lock it in place, I just turn this screw and now it is waiting for square filters to be put on here as well. In fact, let me go get one of those. So here's one of my ND filters. This is a six stop ND. And if I hold it up to the sun, I can see through it a little bit, but this is pretty dark and very simple to use. This just simply slides into the slots on the front of the camera and that's it. Now, if I want, I can put the 10 on front of this and it's gonna be 16 stops. Guess what, at that point, you're not even gonna be able to see through the camera. It is so dark. So how do you get the exposure right? Well, Nissi provides you with an app that runs on your phone that will get you the correct exposure without you really being able to see it. And all you do is you find the correct exposure without the NDs. In fact, I'll even leave the circular polarizer on. I'll get my exposure correct with this on. Figure out what your best exposure is. For argument's sake, it's a bright sunny day. Let's say we're at 160 ISO and it's F16 at oh, 180th of a second or something like that. Just record that, then put the filter on of your choice, 10, 16, 10, 6, or both of them. I'm gonna start out with just the six and see what that does. And you go into the app and you tell it, here's my correct exposure, I'm adding the six stop filter, and it just gives you your new time, because time is what you're gonna wanna change in this. I add the 10 on, it's now 16 stops, Again, the software will just tell you if you're gonna be doing a long exposure, you're gonna to wanna to have a cable release or set your timer on your camera and just let it do its thing. And even on a bright sunny day, you can get some kind of really interesting results. What I'm hoping to do is have a long enough exposure to completely smooth the ocean and the sky and maybe have a palm tree or something in the scene so you can see something not moving. So that's how easy it is to use. Phenomenal filter system. If you're not gonna use a square filter, you can leave the holder on if you want, or you can take it off and just use it with the polarizer. So again, I can just lift this off, and now I have the polarizer. And this, by the way, also comes with its own lens cap for the polarizer system. Let's start out with a beach scene. Uh, this one was going to be a longer exposure, but I needed to establish a baseline. So here's our first shot at 1 180th of a second. You can see the, the flapping flag in the wind is somewhat stilled and the, the waves are, are stilled as well. Now, what I did next was I shot it at 4 tenths of a second. And at 4 tenths, we're starting to see a little bit of a blur, a little bit of blur in the surf, and the flag has gone a little blurry. Then we went to eight seconds, and at eight seconds, we're starting to smooth the ocean. The flag is blurry. Uh, the clouds are starting to blur a little bit, but still not quite enough. So our last shot was at 120 seconds, or of course, two minutes. And at two minutes, we've got a smooth ocean. We've got some really interesting movements in the clouds. And then I, I cropped it and zoomed into a detail, uh, and I really like how this image turned out. I love the mood of it, and uh, the two-minute exposure out in the bright sun is what made it happen. Next, I turned around and visited the pool. And for the first shot, I shot it at a, at a 50th of a second, kind of an early morning at the pool before anybody's out and about. And then we take a look at the detail. And you can see everything's fairly crisp. The palm trees are blowing in the wind a little bit. But for the most part, it's very sharp. So then we moved on. 
The next shot was shot at 1.3 seconds. Now we're starting to get some blur, and it's still not quite enough to achieve the full effect I was after, so we went to 20 second exposure. At that point, the water around the pool is very smooth. We've got a little bit of blur in the palm trees, uh, but the buildings and everything else around it being very sharp really creates a nice contrast. That's one of the reasons that I really like to use ND filters. It creates interesting differences between what's moving and what's still. And the Nissi M75 system with those filters on my Fuji X-T30 made this all possible. So there you go, the Nissi 75 millimeter square filter system. Let's put it to use.